Hi everyone and welcome to Brilliant Mind series. In this tutorial, we are going to look at sample BEC questions, which will serve as preparatory lessons for all BEC candidates, as well as students from GHS1 to GHS3 and possibly SHS1 to SHS3. Two set problem, number basis, simple interest, linear equation, area of plane figures, substitution into variables, plane figures, transformation, area and perimeter of rectangle, statistics, that is pie chart, finding mean number of a class, interior angle, change of subject, stem and leaf plot, and finally transformation. Now based on the question, this is the Venn diagram. And when you simplify the Venn diagram, you, you are going to get 54 plus 27 minus x equals 69. Here, there are two ways. You can either apply balance method or you transpose 81 to the right-hand side of the equation. Why? Because we are looking for x. And therefore, the next number to negative x is 81. And so we transpose this to the right-hand side. Or you use balance method. By subtracting 81 from both sides of the equation. And so subtracting 81 from both sides of the equation will give us negative x equals to 69 minus 81. And when we subtract 81 from 69, we get negative 12. And when we divide both sides by the coefficient of x, we get positive 12. And therefore, number of p intersection q is 12. Alternatively, you can also use the general rule as stated here. If it a and B, just substitute the A and B into the general rule. After solving, you still get the same answer. P intersection Q, complement means the element not in Q. An element not in Q is 54 minus X because the red circle here represents Q. And therefore, element not in Q is 54 minus X. And after solving, you get 42. Number basis. 1, 4, 1, base 6, plus 2, 3, 3, base 6. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. In number base, we divide. When you add and the number exceeds the number base, you divide. So 4 plus 3 will give us 7. 7 in base 6 is 1. In other words, 6 divided by 7, 1. Remainder, 1. In number basis, we write the remainders as the final answers. 4 plus 3 is 7. 6 divided 7, 1, remainder 1. And the 1 or the number of times the number divides is used as carry forward. So it will be left with 1. So 1 plus 1, 2. And 2 plus 2, 4. Next step, 4, 1, 4, base 6, minus 1, 0, 2, base 6. So 4 minus 2 give us 2. 1 minus 0, 1. 4 minus 1, 3, base 6. Hence, 1, 4, 1, base 6, plus 2, 3, 3, base 6, minus 1, 0, 2, base 6, equals to 3, 1, 2, base 6. Principal, 45,000. Simple interest, 4,500. Rate, we don't know. Time is 4 years. The question is talking about simple interest, and therefore, a simple interest formula is this. We are going to substitute the values into the formula, and then this is what we are going to get. After simplifying this, Remember, 100, we divide 100. And so this is what we get. When we simplify this, we get 450,000 because 180,000 rates. But because we are looking for rate, we divide both sides by the coefficient of rate, which is 180,000. And hence, the final answer is 2.5%. Alternatively, we can also use the simple interest formula and then use change of subject to arrive at the rates or make rate the subject of the relation and finally your rate will be simple interest times 100 divided by principal times time linear equation we have three terms and the lcm between two and three is six and therefore we multiply through that is we multiply each term by six after multiplying each term by six this is the result that we get and when we expand to remove parentheses we get this and when we group like terms, you get 3y minus 4y plus 3 plus 2 equals 24. 
and therefore when we simplify further we get negative y plus 5 equal to 24. here you can decide to transpose 5 to the right hand side or use balance method and you get negative 1 y equals to 19. when you divide both sides by the coefficient of y which is negative 1 you get negative 19. Perimeter, according to question, is 54 centimeters. Length, 5 centimeters. And width, 4 centimeters. But we know that perimeter of a rectangle is 2 length plus 2 doubling. And therefore, perimeter was given as 54. And therefore, 54, 2 length plus 2 doubling. Because we have 2 in common on the right-hand side, we divide through by 2. After dividing through by 2, we get 27 equals to length plus width. And that gives us equation 1. Also, the length... The ratio of length to the width equals to the ratio of 5 to 4. When we make W the subject of the relation, we are going to get 5 width equals to 4 divided by 5. And therefore, width equals to 4 divided by 5 length. And then we substitute width equals to 4 divided by 5 length into equation 1. And we are going to get 27 equals to length plus 4 divided by 5 length. After simplifying, we get 135 equals to 9 length. Dividing both sides by the coefficient of length, which is 9, gives us 15 centimeters. Substitution into variable. Negative 2 exponent 3 means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, and that will give us negative 8. 1 exponent 2 is 1, and therefore gives us negative 2. 1 exponent 3 gives us 3, and therefore 3 times 1 is 3. When you simplify, you get negative 7, and therefore negative 7 is our final answer. Looking at the figure here, we've been asked to find length Qx, but we know Qt and we know Ts, so we are going to use particular theory. We don't know Qs, so let's represent Qs by y. So hypotenuse squared equals to opposite squared plus adjacent squared. So QT squared plus TS squared equals Y squared. After simplifying or substituting the values into it, we get 2,500 equals 900 plus Y squared. Using balance method or transposing 900 to the left hand side, will give us Y squared equals 1,600. Because it is squared and we are finding the value of Y, we take square root of both sides of the equation and hence we get 40 meters. So length of KOS is equals to 40 meters. Area of parallelogram is base times height. And therefore the final answer is 2,800 meters squared. This is the mapping according to the question. And then these are the values. S equals negative 2 and Y equals negative 3. After substituting negative 2, negative 3 into the mapping, we will get negative 4 plus 3 and positive 6. And therefore the final answer is negative 1, positive 6. Length is 4x plus 2y, width 2x minus 4x minus 2y, and width 2x minus 3y. Area of rectangle is length times width, which means that we are going to expand or multiply. So 4x times everything here, negative 2y times everything here, as you can see. So when we expand, we get this. And when we further simplify, we get 8x squared minus 16x squared plus 6y squared centimeters. Perimeter of rectangles goes to 2 length plus 2w. So length was given as 4x minus 2y. So 2 times 4x minus 2y plus 2 times width, which is 2x minus 3y. When we expand, we get this. When we simplify, we get this. And the final answer becomes 12x minus 10y centimeters. Angle representing January is 50 degrees because the first figure was 50 and then it starts from January, February, March, April, May, June. And therefore, 50 represents January. Total angle of a sector, 360. Why 360? Because in, sec in every circle, it has four quadrants. And each quadrant is 90 degrees. And then we, when you multiply 90 degrees by 40, we get 360. That's why we have total angle of sector to be 360 degrees. We also know that in the question, number of cars sold during a given period was given as 511,200 and therefore that's the formula so we take 50 we divide it by 360 and we multiply it by the total number of cars sold and that give, gives us 71,000 cars and therefore number of cars sold in January is equal to 71,000 
highest number of cars sold looking at the angles in the question 73 is the highest and therefore we divide 73 by 360 and then we multiply it by 511,200 and that gives us 103,660 and therefore the highest number of cars sold during the period is 103,660 in the same vein april represents 70 and therefore 70 divided by 360 times 100 will give us 90.4 percent percentage of the total number of cars sold in april is 19.4 percent the mean number of cars sold we were given the total number of cars sold during the period to be 511,200 but we know that from january january to june is six january february march april may june is six and therefore we divide six by the total number of cars sold and that gives us 85,200. mean mark of 16 girls is close to 20 and therefore to find the sum of marks of 16 girls we just multiply 16 by 20 and that gives us 320. mean mark of 14 boys is close to 25. to get the sum of marks of 14 boys 14 times 25 gives us 360. Now, to get the sum of the marks of the whole class, we add 320 and then 350, and that will give us 660. Mean mark of the whole class, we know that in a class, 14 boys and 16 girls, that gives us 30. And therefore, sum of the marks of the whole class divided by total number of the whole class, and that is 670 divided by 30, and that gives us 22.3. Pentagon has five sides, and the formula for Interior angle is x minus 2 multiplied by 180. So when we substitute, we get 540. And then we sum all the values up and we equate it to a 540. And we are going to get 540 equals to 5x plus 50. When we group like terms, we get 490 equals to 500, uh, 5x. And therefore, we divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 5, and that gives us 98 degrees. Volume equals to one third pi r squared h. We are making h the subject, and therefore we multiply through by three, as it's it's here. And so the and so we are going to get three v equals to pi r squared. Because we are looking for h, the coefficient of h is pi r squared, and therefore we divide both sides by the coefficient of h, which is pi r squared. And the final answer is h equals to three v divided by pi r squared. We then substitute the values v equals to 8a and r equals to 2 into the equation or into the um, formula. And so substitute the values into 8 is this, and this is what we get. We got 2 squared, it gives us 4. Next, 22 is multiplying 4 divided by 7, and that is what we have here. Once you have three fractions like this, we use the, the top number to multiply the bottom number. Or the numerator multiplies the, the number beneath and therefore 264 times 7 divided by 44 that's what we, we have here and the final answer is 21. <clears throat> in a stem and leaf plot stem is arranged in descending order and leaf ascending order if the decade is one for example seven you place zero in front of seven that is to the left side of seven and then zero become the stem and seven becomes a leaf. If the digit are three, like one, four, five, the first two numbers, which is 14, becomes the stem, and five becomes the leaf. We were asked to find the number of uh, family members who were living. After counting the data set, we had 35. The mother age was zero. We didn't have any mother age. And the only one member was in his or her 60s. Translation vector was given as 4, negative 2. In general, the point plus translation vector gives us the image. We know the point. We have been given the translation vector and we have to find the image. So we are going to substitute, as you can see. So 5, 7, when you substitute, you get 9, 5. And A1, which is the image, is 9, 5. We do the same for B and we do the same for C. Rotation through 90 degrees anticlockwise. That's the formula. So we are going to substitute the points a b and c which is five seven three four seven three into the formula and you get a two to be negative seven five b two to be negative four three and c two to be negative three seven gradient of b two b one one four negative four three and seven two this is x one y one x two y two so y two minus y one which is y two minus 
y1, which is 3, x2 minus x1, which is minus 4, so minus minus. And minus minus gives us positive, and that's the final answer. And that is the transformation. Please subscribe, share, and enable notification. Thanks for watching. Please, if you have any questions, please go to the comment section. Thank you.